The original has like 19 verses, <laughs> each talking about a different crown that he deserves to wear. Wow. Maybe one day. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day we'll sing them all, but just like all, all the crowns he deserves to wear. And the one crown that he didn't deserve to wear was that, that crown of thorns that we read about, we, we looked at today. And just thinking as um, uh, Barabbas walked away that morning, um, how, how much he felt, you know? I'm guilty, but I'm, I've been freed. And then looks and sees that man wearing that crown of thorns and knows that that man has, is going to pay. He's going to be punished and I'm going to go free. How do you think he left, you know? He could have continued in a life of crime, could have, we don't know, whatever. But, but how are we going to leave just considering that one wore a crown of thorns who, who did not deserve it so that we could walk away free? So may we walk away free this week in the power of his resurrection and res- realizing that he wore the crown of thorns so that we, he wore, man, that, that mocking robe and that, that disgusting crown so that we could be clothed in garments of righteousness. Oh, right? So what a glorious exchange. And may we walk away with that this week. So it's, you've prayed already. But let me, Lord, would you just allow us to walk away from this, Lord, um, in your power and, and uh, aware of your love. And um, uh, Lord, seeing this which looked like your greatest defeat was in fact your greatest victory, Lord. And allow us to walk in that victory this week. I pray that we would walk away, um, Lord, not um, perhaps confused as Barabbas was, but, but fully informed, fully aware of why we're walking away. Why us as guilty, condemned sinners are being freed. And we realize that, comprehend it, and walk away this week in that. I pray this in Jesus' good name. Amen. 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 Amen.